Hey, what's up? This is gonna be a little bit different episode. Not working on an airplane, working on this. So I had a cancellation for this weekend. I was supposed to be in Miami, but I'm in snowy Iowa. So I took my steering wheel off on the wagon and I'm gonna show you some different ways to recondition one of these. We are in my basement. This is a pop-up paint booth. I'll put a link in Amazon. If you're if you're painting a lot, you can actually put an air filter here, put a box fan on the other side, and it'll suck out all the paint. But this is going to be a. I'm I'm going to sponge it on first to show you that process. Then I'll spray. So probably not going to set that up. Here is the 2008 BMW 535xi steering wheel. It is a heated steering wheel, and I'm quite fond of it, especially this time of year. But you can see there's some wear and tear happening. Um, so I just pulled it out. I'm not gonna teach you how to take your steering wheel off. That's that's a job for YouTube, but let's, uh, let's get started with cleaning. So we're cleaning, we're gonna take some Color Lock Strong Cleaner and Color Lock Brush. You want a pretty stiff brush here to really loosen up all the grime that's in here. Damp wipe here. Yuck. At least it's my grime, not someone else's. Look at that. Maybe I should wear gloves. And uh, we're going to repeat this a few times, but I'm not going to show you all of it. We've got a pretty narrow depth of field with the camera. So it's not super easy to film here in this little tent. But do this as many times as you need to. If you still got crud coming out, then you're not done cleaning yet. When your foam is turning blackish gray like that, you have some cleaning left. And when you think you're done cleaning, clean it another time just to make sure. This is really the most important step. Definitely helps to rinse out your brush frequently as well. Get rid of all the greasy junk you accumulate. Look at that color change. So again, damp towel, pick all this stuff back up before it soaks back in. The benefit of using a foam is that it floats the grind to the top, but you do want to make sure to pick that up right away. So it's clean, finally. And the whole thing's just kind of dull looking, which is good. See that? Especially the high wear areas. That's what you want. It's a good, honest finish. Now, um, make sure it's dry. We need to decide if we're gonna, how much we're gonna sand this. So we're gonna give it a light sanding just to scuff the surface. But if you're feeling the steering wheel and you feel just like rough high spots, you're gonna wanna sand those down ever so gently until you um, get the desired texture because the steering wheel has heated elements in it you can actually see there's kind of zigzag high spots so we want to be very careful not to sand those off um, we're going to use color lock sanding pad which is a uh, it's got a lot of foam behind it to help it contour but it's about a two to four hundred grit but again it's really soft because it's on a foam backing plate so it's not as aggressive you just you don't want to sand too much um, especially here you can see the see those V's kind of in there um, that's where that heating element lies so we don't want to knock those high spots off make sure to be very careful with the stitching you don't want to rough up the stitching
just lightly sand it, give it something uh, smooth, even surface for the paint to stick to, but really no more. Not unless you have kind of sharp spots that need to be leveled off. Be very careful when you get around the inside not to get the uh, stitching. Next step, degrease. We're going to use Color Lock Solvent or uh, Leather Cleaning Spirit. And uh, the job here is to get all the oils out that might be left behind. The strong cleaner, being that it's a leather cleaner, it actually puts oils back in, so it's it's definitely a little oily, um, which is why we want to make sure to get all of that off. And it's definitely going to look worse after this step um, before we start painting. This also gets all the sanding dust off that we just loosened up. So we got two major processes for fixing this. The first one is the easy do-it-yourself version, which is called Leather Fresh. This is a single step product, so you don't need a primer, base coat, clear coat. Just sponge it on or spray it on. So kind of two ways to use this. I'll show you both. Just shake it, shake it, shake it. So this is Color Fresh or Leather Fresh in black. And uh, the cool thing is we don't need primer, we don't need clear coat. So we just get a little foam applicator and uh, lightly sponge it on. Then we get a dryer. And now uh, just repeat the process. You're always better off with multiple thin layers versus one really thick layer. And you definitely want to sponge. You don't want to drag it on there because then you'll get streaks. This is a much more natural looking finish this way. So I'm just going to do this part here, show you what that looks like using a sponge. And that's just two coats. We'd probably do three. So just this part up here we hit with a sponge real quick. Um, we get good coverage. We still need to build up a little bit more texture for durability, but overall it's super fast and easy. You saw that took no time, just use the sponge. Now I'm going to spray it on, just that part right there. So you want to go with a very light first coat. So once you're done spraying that and drying it, it's pretty much ready to go. That's the cool thing with uh, Leather Fresh. So here's before, right? Here's after. So I just hit it with a hair dryer and this is good to go now. So you can see that was done with just the Leather Fresh product. And the rest of it still needs to be done. Now. I'm going to do this wheel a little bit differently. I'm actually going to use the primer base coat clear coat method. Um, it's going to be a little bit more durable and that way I can tweak how shiny or how matte I want the finish to be. So I'm going to start with a primer, um, spray some primer on, then we're going to spray a few coats of black. After that we're going to put some matte clear coat on and see how that looks. We may have to dial the matte up just a little bit if it gets too matte because sometimes um, with matte clear coat and black, it kind of turns your blacks a little bit gray, but we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Let's just start with some primer, then base coat, then clear coat. Up next, black.
So we're going to mix up about 10 milliliters of matte clear coat. And we're going to add about 3% cross linker. Since we're using such small quantities, we're actually going to use a pipette set to 300 microliters. So putting the airbag in, now there's a pretty big difference in shine between the airbag, which is vinyl, and the fake leather here. So I'm actually going to clean the airbag, spray some clear coat on it, just very lightly, just to make that match more. Um, that said, this is an explosive, you want to be careful, don't be shorting leads in the back. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to give it a quick clean, get some clear coat on there, call it good. Just a quick solvent wipe. Now we'll tape off the emblem and get spraying. Right, that's a much better match finish there. I'm pretty happy with that. There we have it. Nice even finish between the steering wheel the airbag. Um, the only other thing I could do would be disassemble these buttons or mask these buttons and respray those as well. Um, you need a special primer for that which I don't happen to have but uh, then, we, then we could make that a nice flat black also. But other than that I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I'm gonna install it back in the car so can't quite pop the airbag back in yet until we do that. So there's a nut there that needs to attach to the car, but yeah, I hope, hope you saw how easy this was. So what I would do differently if you didn't want to do everything I did is just take the leather fresh and just sponge it on and be done with it or, or spray it on. That'd be a quicker fix. The uh, matte finish just adds a little bit more durability and, um, you know, obviously it's a clear coat layer, so it's going to add some more wear resistance, but... Very happy with how it turned out. Should be a lot easier to clean now because now all those hand oils aren't going to soak in. So all the products we talked about, I'll put a link in the description if you have any questions or you have a specific leather type problem, just shoot me a message. Um, pictures are helpful. So if you have pictures, send pictures and uh, we'll figure out a plan for you. Thanks for watching. So here's the end product actually in action. Uh, the camera is making it look lighter than it is, so let me turn down the exposure. So, um, the matte finish also makes the blacks a little less black, so that's something to be mindful of. If you wanted it a little bit blacker, you could mix in a little bit more gloss clear coat instead of going straight matte like I did. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with how it turned out. It gives this 200 some thousand mile car a nice little refresh and it just feels cleaner it's not slippery so good uh good little fix here if you enjoyed this uh subscribe i'm going to try and put some more leather videos up and uh, check out color locks channel too they have a ton of good content thanks for watching Bye bye